Well, we're here at the Peace Tree Restaurant, and I have the pleasure of having a sit-down conversation with Ms. Vera Willis, the proprietor of the Peace Tree Buffet and Cafeteria. We have really been intentional about reaching out to small business owners, local business owners, talking about their experiences and things we can do. But Ms. Willis, um, if you could just take a moment and introduce yourself and tell us how you got started in business. My name is Vera Willis and I uh, started the Peachtree Buffet 22 years ago. In fact, it was July 19th, 1996. Wow. We've been in business 22 years this coming July. Awesome. And 22 years is a long time as a small business yeah, owner. You're not that is. small anymore because you also have in addition to the second location, you also have a pretty good catering business as well. But but what's been the secret to your success of, of being sustainable this long? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and Amen. his righteousness. And I try to operate yes. this business by the Bible. Mm -hmm. And one thing I've learned over the years is that when you put God first, invest in your customers, invest in your employees. I take pride in the fact that we're not a minimum wage company, our lowest paid employee right here in the inner city is $9 an hour, wow. and that's a buzzer. Wow. And so I take pride in that. My cooks, the pay range from $12 to $16 per hour. And so I'm really happy about that because of course, our cost per plate is all you can eat plus dining, while dining in, and we still are able to pay those type wages right here in the inner city. We invest in our community, we're a socially responsible company, and I have a number of charitable organizations that I work hand in hand with. One of, I'm really passionate about the homeless and feeding the homeless and, and children. I have a, a Coach for Kids project that I'm uh, involved with every year because I believe that there's nothing like boosting the self-esteem of a child, a brand new coat, warm gloves and hats. Awesome. And so, well, I would tell you, exemplary leadership, servant leadership, and um, doing business with integrity. All those things are, I mean, you talk about giving away the secret sauce. That's it. She works hard. She gives back. She yeah. invests in her staff and her community. And we thank you for all that you've done. Now, in 22 years, I'm sure there have been some lumps in the road. Yes, um, there and, and some things that, uh, some barriers. What are some barriers that you've experienced as a business owner um, that, you know, you've had to overcome? Uh, there's been a number. Okay. But you know, my life is an open book. We but all in, know. But in the instance of someone that's starting out in business and they're encountering some roadblocks, um, you know, what has been your, how have you been able to navigate those, those waters and, and then continue on? Right. If you select a business that you're passionate about, really passionate about, it's not about the money with me, but of course the bottom line is important, but you'll never work a day in your life and your goal to all extents to make sure that that business is successful. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and like I said before, if you invest in your customers, mm -hmm. invest in your employees, invest in your community, you'll build a loyal customer base. Absolutely. And I've learned that over the years. I've encountered so much adversity in this business. But my customers, because they have a personal relationship with me, mm -hmm. they've stood by my side. And so, and I'm really, really thankful for that. And I advise anyone starting out in business take care of your customers and they'll take care of you absolutely and uh, that's something else I'd like to emphasize that you need to build a relationship with your purveyors mm -hmm. your vendors most of the vendors that that I am in uh, partner with to this date I've partnered with for the last 22 years Wow and so when I decide that I want to feed 400 homeless they don't have a problem with jumping on board and, and providing beverages or food for those four. Absolutely. So as you serve the people, people partner with you to help. That is phenomenal. That is. I, I thank you for sharing that type of insight because people always wonder how do you do it? Um, yes. You do it with such class, you do it with such dignity, but more importantly, you empower the people that work for you. People, you. sometimes it's their first job, you have professional staff, they're well-grown, well-dressed, great service. Thank um, you. And, and we're happy to support the Peach Tree Restaurant, Cafe, Buffet, and catering business because you support Kansas City. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Wes Willis, and I enjoy talking with you. If you have not had a chance to come to the Peach Tree Buffet or cafeteria, please take time out for your lunch, dinner, 
If you have a special event, catering opportunities are available as well, contact the Peach Tree. Miss Willis or her staff will take care of you. I've used them over the years for a number of occasions yes, and they do yeah. not disappoint. So thank, thank you for all that you do. And if you guys are looking for a good business to partner with, you heard it from her first. Thank, thank you so much, Miss Willis. Thank you. All right. All right, so I've got an event coming up. Um, as you know, I've announced running for mayor of Kansas City. And um, we were looking for locations, and I represent the 5th District currently as a council person, so I wanted yes. somewhere in the 5th District. Um, I support 5th District businesses, and so I came back to yes, the Peace Tree. Uh, and you have been a great partner to work with. You serve um, my, my folks on election days and Thank the you. council lunches and, and whatnot. But, but there's some significance to the space we're going to be in on Thursday. I started out as an entrepreneur in that space. Yes, and, you know, we talked about you as a restaurant owner, but I want to talk about you as an actual uh, commercial property owner. Yes. You know, and your ability to be able to create opportunities for other small businesses in the spaces that you have as well. Thank you. Yeah. And so in that space, we're going to be having, it's now your cafe space. It's my cafe space. All right. And so we're expecting over 100 people to show up to celebrate the kickoff for Kennedy for KC, my mayoral kickoff campaign. You're catering. The food's going to be great. The entertainment's going to be great. But if somebody else wants to use that space, how many people would you normally accommodate for a sit-down dinner or for an event like that? Anywhere from 25 to 100. Okay. 100 is maximum. Right? Yeah. So we're going to be packed, you guys, but I still want you to show up. And it's going to be a great opportunity not only to support myself in my mayoral bid, but also support another local business that's doing great things in our community. So I hope to see you all on Thursday. We look forward to celebrating all this goodness. Thanks.